hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Mary and welcome to another craft day Wednesday and in today's video I'll be showing you how I made this little TV and TV stand I'll also be showing you how I made this little bench and this little desk here uh, what we're gonna do first of all we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build the little bench we set that there and um, normally I be would be using wood glue but for the video I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit across the top and since I plan on making this bedroom set red I'm gonna go ahead and use red felt also and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side I'm just gonna stick this on just like this try to make sure it's lined up and if you want the little piece across the top like I said I'm gonna do mines in red so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my red felt and I'm just gonna cut a piece of the felt out and I'll cut it across and then I'm just gonna um I'm going to cut it down a little more because it's more than what I need. And then we're just going to cut it this way. And I'm going to just go ahead and drape it over the top like this. And I'm just going to put a little bit here. And we're just going to put this. Uh, I like to, for whatever reason, I like to put my stuff at an angle. I just think it just looks so much better when it's angled. Is that just, is that just me or do anybody else do that? Because you think it looks better. But yeah. And that was simple. This is done. Next. What we are going to do. Is the TV stand. So what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab the stuff. That I need for my TV stand. And we have the TV itself. And if you want to put a border. Around your TV. Like I did with this one. How I got the border around here. All you got to do is take some uh, skinny sticks or coffee stir sticks, whichever you prefer. And basically what you're going to do is just um, kind of mark where you want to cut it. Make sure you got it all lined up and cut. And then just going to go, go ahead and put a layer of glue down and stick this on just like this. And we're going to do that to all four sides. So I'm going to mark it where I want it to be. And you're going to go ahead and give that a quick cut. And then we're going to put some glue across the bottom of this, like this. And we're just going to go ahead, stick this down on here just like that. Do you have any... Uh, any glue that's left over just kind of you can just kind of scrape it off with your finger when it dries and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other sides and cut the end off here and then I'm gonna mark it because this is where I need to cut it right there and um, you can use like I said you can use any type of any type of sticks you want it does not have to be done exactly like I'm doing mine I just try to keep it simple I'm going to be making a couple dolls after I finish this video so yeah and then for the last piece we're just gonna grab it and we're just gonna mark where it needs to be cut and that's about right there we're gonna cut that off and we're gonna match it up and stick that down off into place so we're just gonna put a little bit of glue right down the sides just like that and we're gonna go ahead and stick this in here and we're gonna pull this to the end just like this there we go 
in. We have our TV framed in. And if you want to put an image inside your TV, all I done was went to my computer and printed out a random image for the TV. If you're making this for a kid's bedroom, maybe you can print out some princess, like a princess cartoon picture or something of that sort. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, we're going to take our, uh, our shelf that's underneath the TV like this. And we're going to make that next. So basically what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this to connect just like this. And we're going to stick that right down here. And if y'all hear some rattling in the background, that's my dog being nosy. Because she's just rambling because she don't know what else to do. Okay, we got that. Now we're going to go ahead and build the TV stand. So what you're going to do is take your two legs that we have here. We're going to set this to the side. And we're just going to go ahead and glue these into place. Coco, what are you doing? Just like this. And you want to hold it there for a minute. It does not take hot glue long to dry, so you don't have to hold it for a super long time. You just want to hold it and give it enough time to dry. And like I mentioned before, I would normally be using hot glue. I mean, sorry. I would normally be using wood glue, but whenever I'm doing a, a, a video, I tend to go towards hot glue because it dries faster. So yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on the bottom. On, I mean, on a, right under like this. I don't like, I don't, if you, okay, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this leg kind of bends in a little bit. So I'm going to take it off because that's the one good thing about um, hot glue. When it dries, you can peel it right off and you can start over. So that's what I'm going to do because I didn't, I wasn't too happy with the way the legs kind of, bent in a little bit so yeah so next I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna set this back a little bit so I can see what it looks like okay, okay there we go we're gonna go ahead put some hot glue on here and we're just gonna stick this down just like this And then we're going to go ahead and stick some hot glue on here. And we're going to put some here. And we're going to go ahead and stick this into place. And there you have your shelf. Now, I am going to also take a piece of this red, the same red felt. And I am going to just cut some of it off so I can drape it over the sides like this. So it'll look like this. And um, I'm going to go ahead, put a little bit here to hold that down. And we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit here, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little base of our TV and we're just going to put a little bit of glue here to hold it down, just like that. I'm going to grab another glue stick. And we are going to take our TV that we have here and we're just going to stick it into place, just like this. So we're going to put a layer of glue down and we're just going to stick this on and once again you got to hold it there for a minute and I need to put a little bit of 
back down in front like this. I'm going to give it a little let it set hold for a little bit. And there's your TV. So we got our TV in our bench and we're just going to set these out of the way over here. And next what we're going to do is we're going to make our little desk. So I'm going to grab everything I need, which is right here, to make the little desk. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and assemble the desk. So these will be the legs. And once again, you do this just like you did for the um, TV. Just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the ends. And you're going to stick this down just like this. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Like this. Just going to put a little bit on here. And then we're just going to go ahead, make sure it's even and lined up. Wipe any of the extra glue away. And there we have that. And then we have the back of our desk, which is going to be, this is going to go like this. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of, we're going to put a little glue on the sides just like this. And we're going to put some down here and we're going to put a little here. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this on just like this. And after we do that, we have our sides like this and we're just going to stick those on just like this but I may go a different route with those I may just use the wider ones because I like the way it looks so we're gonna mark off where we want this to be and that's about here oops sorry about that and we're that's about here we're gonna mark that and we're just gonna go ahead and use your scissors or your shears or whatever you have on hand to cut that out and yeah so make sure you do both of them like this got that gonna go ahead and put those into place Coco you better get out of there. It's like my dog, she finds to, the best time to get into stuff when she knows I'm doing a video is the best time for her to cause mischief. But she's my sweetie. I love her. Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. And then we have the, the, the making of our, our desk. And what we're going to do is go and go ahead and we're going to see how wide do we need to cut this. We're going to cut a little bit of this off. So I got my pencil here and we're just going to go ahead and mark here because this was where I need to cut. And I am going to go ahead and cut that. And we're going to go ahead and stick this into place like this so we're gonna put a little here and then we're gonna put a little more here just like this and we're gonna stick this down right on top just like that and then for the front okay that's kind of bent out there we go now for the front I'm gonna go ahead and do our little drawers so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bend this out and I'm gonna stick this here just like this but I need to stand it up and we're gonna go ahead and glue this into place just like this okay so I need to put a little bit of glue on across the top and on the sides 
and then we're going to stick this down here just like that. And um, I mentioned this before, I'm working on the wax paper because the hot glue won't stick to it. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. But I'm thinking I'm going to, instead of making this a drawer, I'm going to leave this open so I can put a chair on the inside. And, okay. So for the actual drawers, all we're going to do is we're going to take, let me see here. We're going to take some random pieces of wood and we're just going to cut this into two. And we're going to uh, just make these our drawers. So we're going to have a big one and a small one. And I'm going to go ahead and put some glue down on top so I can stick this on. And it's going to be painted over. So, yeah. And then stick this down here just like that. And this is going to be our drawers. And um, I am going to go ahead and cut a little bit of the wood off to make the handles to pull it out. So I'm just going to stick a little bit here. Put that right down on there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a little there and put it here. And then there's our drawers for our desk. And for as far as the um far as the shelf goes, you can use a skinny or a, a medium sized jumbo craft stick. And I'm gonna peel this little bit of glue off because it's driving me crazy. And we're just gonna cut one in and I'm gonna measure. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of glue down on this end and put a little bit on here. I want to leave that end rounded like that. And I want to stick that. Oh, I forgot to put glue on the back. So we're going to put some glue along the back of it like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and stick this into place and make sure it's even. And you can do as many shelves as you want. And um, I notice I have a little gap here, so I'm going to take this back off and I am going to reattach it because I was not happy with that little bit of a gap that was in the opening, but it's fine now. I'm fixing it. And there we go. We got that taken care of. So, um, yeah, we've made... The drawer, the drawer, um, the desk, and the um, move this one. The TV we have here, so we have the the TV, the desk, and the little uh footstool that sets at the end of the bed. Now I've already got a video up where I made the bed and the nightstand. And then I did the dresser and the bookshelf. And these were the only three things left to make besides the um, the little computer chair. And then in the little rocking chair. Now, I already have a video up showing how I made the rocking chair. So... I probably won't be doing a video for that unless y'all want to see me do that over then. If you do, please let me know in the comment box down below and I'll get to that. And um, I will be doing this next. So just let me know if you want to see me do another cheer and I'll be glad to do both of these at one time for y'all. So once again, thank you for watching my video and I hope... Hope you have a nice day and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.